despairrepair.com. Hi everyone and welcome to despairrepair.com. In this video we're going to show you what are the most common reasons why your check engine light is on. For your information, this is the lamp we'll be talking about. So this is the check engine lamp. I've had a check engine a light problem on this Skoda Fabia and how I solved it you can watch in a separate video that we've made uh, on that topic. The first place you should look at uh, if you get the check engine lights on is the gas tank cap. There are two uh, most common reasons why this causes problems. Either it's loose, okay, when you pour gas into the tank and, it's, and you don't tighten it properly, or the gas tank cap seal inside uh, is uh, faulty, okay. Uh, the problem here is that if the gas tank cap is loose or the seal is faulty, uh, excess air, excessive air gets into the gas tank causing a problem in the air fuel mixture. Uh, uh, the solution to this of course, first tighten the gas tank cap. If this uh, doesn't work, uh, change the gas tank cap altogether. Also, a common reason for the check engine light to go on is the O2 sensor. The O2 sensor on uh, most cars is located on the exhaust system. In the case of the Skoda Fabia, the O2 sensor, I don't know if you can see this, is located here. There is one here on the uh, beginning of the exhaust manifold and the other one is located lower on the exhaust system on, uh, on a pipe. The problem is that uh, if the O2 sensor is faulty, then uh, it will uh, give a bad reading of uh, exhaust fumes, thus causing the check engine light to go on. The solution to the O2 sensor uh, problem is of course replacing the O2 sensor, or uh, there is a possibility of uh, taking it off and cleaning it. One more problem uh, with the if the check engine lamp goes on is the uh, complete air intake uh, system. Okay, so uh, what should you do first? Uh, you should check the whole uh, of the air intake system for loose uh, hoses, punctures in hoses, uh, bad seals somewhere or things like that. Why am I telling you this? Uh, one of the most common reasons for the check engine light to go on is uh, excessive air uh, in the system okay uh, if you have a loose uh, air hose or a punctured air, air hose however small that puncture may be it will cause the check engine light to turn on so let's take the case of the skoda take the uh, engine take this plastic engine lid off and make a complete inspection of every air intake hose on the engine Another thing you should check uh, is the MAF sensor. Uh, the MAF stands for Mass Airflow Sensor. Uh, that sensor is located uh, on the air intake of the car and uh, its purpose is to regulate the amount of air that goes into the air intake. Uh, when you get this problem, uh, the best uh, repair is to either replace it altogether or take it off and clean it. Uh, if you get a faulty MAF sensor, uh, it's uh, best to find that fault with the OBD reader. Another problem can be uh, a dirty or clogged catalytic converter. Now this is a bit awkward, but the catalytic converter is, uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, it's located under the car on the exhaust system. Okay, so it's down there. Over time, as I've said, it gets dirty and uh, clogged, uh, causing the O2 sensor to give a bad reading on the, on the exhaust fumes. Uh, the solution to this is either changing the whole catalytic converter, okay, it's sort of cut out and replaced with a new clean one, or in, uh, there is a possible solution like with the O2 sensor to take it off and clean it, but that is not a pretty good solution. Okay, so uh, the best solution here would be to change it altogether. 
you should also check the battery condition okay so uh, if you have an old battery which is worn out it is also a common reason why the check engine light goes on if the alternator voltage output is bad on your car is also known to uh, cause the check engine light to go on uh, the solution to this is of course check the alternator voltage output we've made a video separate video about this you can go and uh, and uh, have a watch but uh, if the uh, engine if the alternator voltage output is too high or too low it can cause the check engine light to go on to make this check all you need is a uh, multimeter and see that uh, the voltage is okay You should also check the spark plugs and spark plug cables. Now this is a more rare reason for the check engine light to go on, but nevertheless give it a check. Uh, if you change the spark plugs on, on a, in, in the regular service interval, you shouldn't have any problems with that. The spark plug cables are, um, are built to last a pretty long time, so uh, they shouldn't cause problems also. Nevertheless, if you get the fault, give them a check also. And for the final reason uh, the check engine light can go on is a electronic or electric fault on your car. So things like a short circuit or a broken cable somewhere or a faulty ECU unit can cause the check engine light to go on. Most cars in case you get an electric or electronic fault have a separate uh, warning light for that. In the case of the Skoda it has this EPC light which warns if an electronic fault appears on the car. Of course the solution to this is an OBD uh, code reader and you have to find what the what the fault is. This is perhaps the most tricky one if you if you get this uh, fault it's perhaps the most tricky one to find. We hope this video was helpful. If you liked it, please click the subscribe button. For more information on how to do checkups and simple repairs around the car, be sure to visit us at despairrepair.com.